In this video, I will be adding domain user to local administrators group members for my domain computers using group policy. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video, and I will leave the URL in the description down below. And here you can see the objectives for this video. So first I will create a domain user account named local admin. Then I will add local admin to local administrators group using group policy for my domain computers. And for that, I will go to my VMware workstation where I have my Windows Server environment. And because first we need to create the user, I will go to Tools and Active Directory Users and Computers. I will create the user in my Domain Users Organization Unit. I will right click here, go to New and select User. I will give it a full name, Local Admin. I will copy the full name and I will paste it for my user logon name. Then I will click next. I will enter the password for this user. I will uncheck use user must change the password at next logon. And I will select the password never expires. I don't recommend these settings, but this is my test environment. Then I will click next and finish. And we are basically done creating our user account. As you can see, it's a simple user. If I go to member off, it's only a domain user. And now we can start creating a group policy that will add this user to local administrators group or my domain computers. And for that, I will go back to my server manager, go to tools and group policy management. I will right click on group policy objects, select new. I will name the policy add local admin to administrators and click OK. Then I will expand group policy objects. I will select the policy that I created, then I will right click it and select edit. And here we need to go to computer configuration, expand preferences, and then control panel settings. And here we need to select local users and groups. Then I will right click here, go to new and select local group. For the action, I will leave it at update for group name, I will select uh, somewhere here, administrators built in. And for the members, I will click add here. Then I will click on this button right here. And here I will name, I will enter the name for my user, local admin. I will click on check names and then OK. Then OK here, apply and OK. And that's basically it. We are done creating our group policy. I will close this window right here. Then I will go to details and for GPO status, I will select user configuration settings disabled because currently this policy only has computer settings in it. And I will leave all other settings on default. Now after creating this group policy, we need to assign it to an organization unit that is holding the computers where we want to make this user a local administrator. In my case, the organization unit will be this one, domain computers one. So to assign the policy, I will click and hold on the policy and then I will drag and drop it on the organization unit. And as you can see, the policy appeared here and also we can see it in the list here. And now to test this policy, I will go to one of my computers that is located in this organization unit. And the computer is right here, client 01. First, I will go to start menu and I will open MMC. And in MMC console, I will go to file, add audio move snapping. And somewhere here we have local users and groups. I will edit, finish, and OK. And here we can see that we have our local groups. And if I go to administrators, we can see that currently we don't have the local admin in this group. And to see if our group policy is working, first we need to update our group policy. And for that, I will go to start menu. I will type CMD. And here I will type GP update. And as you can see, the group policy update was successful. Now, if I go back to my MMC console and open administrators group, we can see that we have local admin in it. And if I open start menu, enter CMD and try to run it as administrator, we can enter local admin and then the password and click yes. We can see that this command line opens up with administrative privileges. And if I type who am I? we can see it, that it runs under the local admin account. And that's it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.